Hey there folks, Aldershot here, and today we're going to do a real quick play video on Bravada, developed by Interbellium Team, and I see at the regular price of $10 on Steam. So let's get right into it, since this is a quick look, we don't have a whole lot of time, uh, and let's see, we're going to start at the level that we're currently on, load, just so we can bypass the initial stuff. So this is Bravada, uh, and it is, I would like to call it a light turn-based RPG. Uh, the reason I'm saying that because there is a lot of RPG tropes and elements into this game uh, and it definitely takes a lot of lessons from its core genre uh, but it's you know it's not as in-depth as some other RPGs that's on the market it certainly does have a lot of the elements that would make a game an RPG such as uh, stats, <laughs> equipable items, uh, you know recruitable uh, friends and foes and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, there's stuff like that. Now, it is a turn-based RPG, uh, and each time you make a move, that's basically one turn passing. And as you can see, I make a move and a bunch of stuff happens, but you can take a whole bunch of moves at the same time, and it kind of feels almost action RPG-ish, uh, which is a great disguise for what essentially is very much a turn-based RPG, but because of its simple combat mechanics, as well as its overall simple design, it can kind of get away with, uh, you know, a faster-paced combat system, again, because it's just a lot less to manage than other RPGs of, uh, of a similar nature. Now, as you can see, I'm kind of moving all my characters at the same time. Uh, again, that is kind of part of the strategy as far as this turn-based RPG is concerned. But you can also move one at a time uh, in more spaces, but that'll still take up a turn and your other units won't be able to move. So you kind of have to use that strategically and then every now and then you gotta have to use that to get across certain borders and obstacles and all that sort of stuff so it's it's kind of interesting it's almost like a game of chess uh, where you really kind of have to think about your positioning of your pieces uh, as well as what kind of moves that the opponents can take to counteract your current strategy. Obviously, positioning is very, very important. There's different classes in this game, as you would expect from an RPG. You know, there's warrior classes, archers, mag magicians, etc., etc. So, obviously, your uh, weaker allies should probably be in the back row, and your stronger, tougher allies should probably be in the front row. But, of course, sometimes obstacles can kind of get in the way of your positioning. Just like that, that guy kind of moved out of position, but that's because I wanted to move forward, uh, and there was something blocking everyone else's way except for this guy so that's what happened so you kind of have to keep that in mind as positioning is quite important in this game now there's also upgrades and abilities that you can use as well if you're uh, if one of your allies die uh, the whole point is to keep your hero alive which is this dwarf here you can actually use these onks and you can copy any unit that's on the field except for yourself and merchants of course you can actually copy friendlies uh, but uh, even better is that you can copy enemies and place them into the battle just like that and, that and that doesn't actually take up a turn so using items is one of the few things you can do in this game that doesn't actually take up a turn movements attacks uh, collecting items etc etc takes up a turn so do keep that in mind so overall it's actually quite a cerebral uh, light RPG I would like, like I said before uh, and there's actually a lot, even though, you know, the overall design of the mechanics is fairly simple, there's actually a lot of depth to this as, um, you know, figuring out the optimal positioning, uh, and as well optimal, as well as, you know, your most optimal turn usages, I guess, <laughs> is going to be the main meta of this game, I guess you can say. Uh, and also, the game has a fair amount of variety as well, as there is actually quite a, a large amount of different units that you can choose from to add to your army, just like that. Uh, and as well as different items and equipment that you can kind of get along the process as well. Let's see if I can access my equipment. There we go. So this is a list of items and equipment that I've collected so far. Now, there's only really two slots for your hero. Uh, a hat. Uh, your, actually, I guess three. Your hat. No, actually, no, I was right. It's two. Your hat and your weapon. <laughs> there you go. I was going to say armor, but your armor actually upgrades based on uh, your character leveling up. And each time your character or your unit level up, you can actually uh, choose 
you know, different stats to beef up, but in your hero's case, actually even in your ally's case, when they level up to a certain amount, you can choose different classes that they can become, an upgraded version, etc, etc. So again, overall, I have to say this is a fairly enjoyable light RPG that definitely takes a lot of classic RPG tropes and elements and really kind of make it into its own thing. Uh, the humor and aesthetic is actually quite appealing as well, it's very, very unique. Uh, but overall, it's very, very enjoyable, and $10 is definitely not an unreasonable asking price for the quality of Bravada, which is actually a pretty enjoyable and at times a challenging game. Alright, so there you go guys, that's basically our quick look of Bravada, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, and if you did, you know, show me some love, like, share, fave, and comment, but most importantly, help me grow, feed me my vegetables, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. All the shoutouts.